Alright, so we're at the finished honing stage of the bores here. Um, we've got different stones for different finish stones uh, for different rings and different applications. So uh, today we're going to use this stone and then finish off with a fine stone that we use for uh, these plasma molly rings that are getting used in this application. Um, and then what we do is finish off with a what's called a plateau, a plateau pad, um, which is a brush, it's not actually a stone. So at the very end when it's uh, down to its finished size, um, we'll run that up and down it a few times, which basically takes the pitch off the honing pattern. If you micro microfied it, um, you'd be able to see uh, little birds and that on each line of the hone honing pattern. So this is what this plateau, plateau uh, pad does. It basically just brushes that and smooths out the pitches of each honing pattern. And then uh, also remove some of the material, the dirt, out of the pores of the, material, of the metal. Uh, so that's the final stage. Um, so we'll put this in now. We've got the 2000 machine out, as we saw when we measured it up, and the torque plates were bubbling on. So we keep checking it up, we measure where it's at, all the way from top to bottom. It should be gradually coming down. It's at a, just under a cow and a half now. We bring it down to about a thou before we put our pines final stone in. That's it about right now. So we'll do that to all bores. Um, because we only have been given one torque plate for this one, we've got a head torque down on the other side and the mains are also torqued. Uh, so everything's torqued up and pulling in as it would when it's running on the motor. Um, we'll finish this side off and then put the fine stones in and then get it down to zero um, before we plate it. And then we'll uh, swap the head and the torque plate over and do the opposite side. So we'll uh, finish off and we'll see you at the next stage. Alright, so we're just going to finish off with the photo pads now. Um, just to clean out those pores and uh, take those edges off that paint. Just going to cut up and down. That's the finish that we need. It's got about a 25 to 30 degree painting angle cross hatch, uh, which is what's needed for these rings to get the maximum performance and sealing out of them. And now this one's ready to go.